All right, welcome to another video. This is going to be just like the last video where I used Python to just help me in my uh, personal life. So it's kind of a blend between uh, personal and professional, but it showcases uh, my Python skills and I think could be useful for anyone who uh, has been watching this channel. Uh, Python is a really important skill to have if you're in network engineering. Okay, so this project is going to be um, different from the uh, last one, but I'm going to go about it in uh, a similar way. So I will open the terminal here and create a folder for it, just like I did in the last one. That's how I started that. Um, I've got to change my screen capture, though, I think. Um, looks like my screen capture is not working here. So I can capture that screen, but okay, there we go. So to start the last project that I did, I went into the documents folder and then I created a folder for it called sort do one two. So for this project, I'm going to call it uh, gratitude journal. I'm not sure if that's how you spell gratitude it probably is, but I will look it up anyway. There might be two T's. Nope, I got it right. Okay. So one of the things I've been doing um, over the past uh, few weeks or months is really kind of taking uh, more seriously this idea of a subjective measure of well-being. So that is, is uh, just if you ask if I ask you right now on a scale of one to ten, how happy are you? Uh, how satisfied are your life? The average score for that would be about a seven. So you definitely gonna wanna be answering around that seven um, or higher. And uh, th the answers to that, there was a, a lecture I saw with a, a PhD researcher from Oxford who said that that's actually a really good way to uh, uh, tell how well somebody is doing when they tell you they're doing good or bad or, or whatever, you can trust them and it correlates to other measures that show uh, whether somebody is doing good or bad. So uh, this is called the Happiness Institute. Yes, yeah, so the Happier Lives Institute has uh, the information from the lecture I saw that, that inspired me to uh, to do uh, the journaling that I did, and, and to be honest, I, I think it's working. I think if you if you have uh, depression or if you have a serious, uh, if you have a, an actual uh, like it, it can't it can't cure an actual uh, like condition. I think, but um, if you're generally uh, healthy mentally. Um, this can help you be a happier person, I, I, I think. Um, for me, uh, I do think it, it has actually helped me feel a bit happier, and I really haven't been even doing it for that long so far. But I can just remember, like, a lot of the good things that, uh, that have happened over the last month. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, so this, this Happier Life Institute is, is what uh, uh, inspired me to uh, start uh, gratitude journaling. So, in order to start uh, gratitude journaling, I, I looked online for different uh, resources I could use. Um, I bought I bought a uh, five minute journal that I've been using, um, which uh, is decent, good prompts and everything, but it's it's a it's a garbage uh, journal. The pages fall out. Um, it's just really bad as a journal. So what I really like is this service here, Take Two Minutes, where they just send you text messages and you can configure you can configure when they send you the 
messages and you can figure like what kind of services you want from them. Um, but the problem is uh, you get a full service uh, trial for 15 days. And then uh, after those 15 days, it looks like uh, I'm not able to do a lot of the things I was doing before. It's just not sending me the the things that that I was doing before. So we can see the free version. Um, yeah, so I can't receive positive messages. I think I was getting that. Um, Gratitude reminders, I think I was getting that. Ah, so this is the big one. Able to text request uh, gratitude journal links. I think that was the big one. Able to receive gratitude nudges. Yeah, so these are like the big things that I was getting from it. And uh, they just kind of randomly went away once my trial expired. And uh, the reason is because you have to pay, uh, you have to pay for those services. So what I figured I wanted to do is instead of paying for those uh, services, just because it's so simple, what I was what I was getting and what I need from them, just stand up my own take two minutes version um, using Python, using uh, texting libraries, and uh, just do it for free on my own. I mean, I want it to be that way anyways because I don't want my personal journal to be uh, owned by by you know whoever these people are they're probably wonderful people but um, I'm not sure if I even want <laughs> you know Mother Teresa or, or Gandhi to read my journal I'd rather keep that private so um, yeah I'm just gonna stand up my own uh, gratitude journal texting service that'll send me texts uh, throughout the day as long as it's up and running and um, uh, and I'll continue to to do uh, this uh, this and, and base it off of what uh, I've done so far on here. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna call that uh, gratitude journal. So let's uh, change into that. Okay, and then let's open up Visual Studio Code. All right, and then I'll get I'll make a another I'll make a file in here called uh, readme. Okay, so we've got uh, the file here. So I'm going to kind of uh, follow the uh, same uh, structure I did with my other projects. So this is the and this one, I'm not sure I can just do it as quick as I did the other one. The other one was, I think, a much easier project. Um, it was much better to find. Um, I, I had done uh, things with web scraping before. Uh, this project is going to be a lot more complicated. Um, I'm going to need to learn how to send a text using Python. I'm going to need to uh, set up a, a database of, of stuff. I'm going to need to have it save stuff. I'm going to need to make sure it's running on a server that has uh, uptime, so I should get like metrics on my server or like a way to know if my server goes down or something like that. Um, so I'm planning to do that on my uh, home lab that I use for the James PSP, just to set up another, like a Flask uh, server or something like that. So I'm going to need to run like Flask. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more complicated of a project, but it shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to do it. Um, last project took me about six hours, so I'm not estimating it'll take more than 20 hours. Um, it's more complicated, but I'm not sure if it's that much more complicated. Okay, so the first thing I did, uh, if we look at my uh, commits, so if we go to insights, if we go to commits, uh, it's taking uh, or contributors. Yeah, so if I look at, oh, I'm not sure how to look at the commits. I'm used to using, I'm used to using ones where it's easier to see the commits. Uh, yeah. 
18 commits. Contributors, community. Uh, okay, I'm not sure how to see the commits without pulling up my uh, Visual Studio, but that's okay. I, I don't need to see the commits. I just need to look at the readme. So the readme, I have the problem defined as the solution defined, and then I have uh, more sections. So let's start the same way. We're going to say problem, the solution. So the problem is pretty uh, simple. The problem is that this uh, site so my my 15 day trial membership to uh has expired the most valuable services i was getting are no longer available without payment. And I'm, I'm just going to check out the window because I hear a lot of talking. I'm just curious what's going on. No, okay. I don't see anyone out there. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just a little bit... When I first moved here, there was a... <laughs> situation uh, so I kind of if I hear a lot of talking especially if it doesn't sound like just regular talking I have to take a look out the window okay so let's see here the most valuable services I was getting are no longer available without payment okay so the problem my 15 day trial membership has expired the most valuable services I was getting uh, and then additionally Additionally, um, uh, since this is a private uh, journaling service, I guess journaling is not a word. I guess journaling is a word. It's just not in this spell checker. Okay. Additionally, since this is a private journaling service, I am not very comfortable. Uh, trusting my journal entries to a entity that can cut me off from them at any time and that can access them uh, that can read or write, write to them at read, write, or share them at any time without my permission or knowledge. So yeah, that's, that's a pretty big problem. Um, I guess entity's not in there either. Um, or journalizing, is that? Okay, so the problem is my 15-day trial membership to take two minutes.org has expired. The most valuable services I was getting are no longer available without payment. Additionally, since this is a private journalizing service, I am not very comfortable trusting uh, 
uh, I'm not comfortable trusting my journal entries to an entity that can cut me off from them at any time and that can rewrite, share them at any time without my permission or knowledge. So solution. The solution to this is to stand up my own service um, that is run privately uh, on my private home equipment. Okay, so the solution to this is to stand up my own service that is run privately on my private home equipment. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's simple enough. Um, so uh, the requirements. Okay, so I'm going to need to really think about what I was getting from that service. Um, that makes me want to put in this effort to to continue to use it. So uh, the first requirement, um, so I'm going to make a list of requirements. So the first one is it has to be able to push out text messages to me. Push out texts to my phone number at configurable times. So uh, right now I have it configured to send me a text every morning at 9, uh, every uh, afternoon, well, every, every day at noon, and then every evening at 8. And I, I really like the... Um, morning ones, uh, but I like the evening one as well. So I probably won't have it send out the noon ones. Um, I don't know, maybe I will, but um, but I definitely need to uh, have it push text out to me. It can't be something where I have to reach out to it to use it. It has to reach out to me. And then it has to do that uh, via texting on a phone. That's the first requirement. Okay, so the second requirement is it has to be able to store my replies to the texts. Uh, um, so that I can read them later. Um, now, the storage can be read-write. Um, that's okay. Um, read-only is, is probably better, so I can't go and, and modify them or whatever. But um, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of important um, to me is, is uh, long-term term storage. So, so the storage has to be uh, long term, I'm going to add that there. The storage has to be reliable long term. Um, uh, Okay, so requirements number one has to be yep has to so I can't get this formatting uh, to be what I wanted it to be. Um, it is in a markdown format, um, so I guess I'll just use stars like that. Yeah, that's a little bit that's nicer. It doesn't need to be 
they're not in order. They're e they're all requirements, so they're all equally as important. I just don't know why it's uh Yeah, I wish I could move this over, but whatever, it's fine. So uh long term for one year or longer. I want to be able to look back on the past year. If it doesn't go for longer than a year, it just goes for like a year and then it resets. That's okay, but um, I definitely want the full year on record. So uh, when I say long-term storage, I mean uh, shortest is one year. But if I can, if I can only do one year and a month or so, and I can't do 10, 20 years, that's okay. That's not a requirement. Uh, so we'll, we'll just say for at least one year. Okay. So it's going to be more requirements than that. We're going to, there's going to be actually a lot of requirements for this. So, um, okay. So we've got those first, uh, two requirements. Uh, that's good. Um, I want to say security is a requirement where I don't want random people to be able to just read my journal, but I don't know like what specifically to write for that because I mean, security is always a requirement. So I feel like if I have nothing specific to say about like what kind of security or what, like what I mean by that, um, I, I really don't even have to write it down because security like is a requirement. But I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll just write that. Security, uh, private journal must not be accessible publicly or by authorized users. Um, the other, the other thing I, I would want is um, the number, the phone number used to push out the texts, um, must not accept responses from that are not from me. So like, now there's going to be limitations with that. If somebody steals my phone or whatever, or behind my back uses my phone and replies to it. I mean, that's okay. I don't think there's anything I could do to that, but um, of course I can, I always uh, lock up my phone. So that there's basically no risk of that. The main risk is, is if I'm making a video here and I accidentally show the, uh, the number that the texts are going to be pushed out from somebody just, uh, sends a, a text to that. And even though it's from a, a different, uh, phone number from a different phone, uh, possibly in, in a different, uh, location, uh, the service just accepts that response thinking it's me. And now I've got these extra replies that, uh, are, uh, are not, uh, uh, something that I actually wrote. So that's going to be a requirement to make sure that there's no, uh, chance or there's, there's a severely reduced chance of, of that sort of thing happening. Okay. So, uh, now let's get into the, uh, kind of nitty gritty, uh, of what like a gratitude journal actually is. So I'm going to uh, pause this and, and I'll be back. Okay. So here's my, uh, five minute journal that I've been doing. And, uh, there are, uh, this, this I, I, I kind of like, so I might just use this, um, for my texts, but I'll also go through what, uh, take two minutes, uh, does, but we can see what, what I get in this and I'll try not to show my actual, like, uh, responses to the prompts, but, um, the prompts themselves, I can definitely show. So 
what we've got in here, we've got the date, um, so I won't need to, um, you know what, uh, I, I will put that down. So, so we want, uh, we want um, the stored journal entry must have the date the entry was completed. Um, uh, now, uh, now this is the stored. This is the the, the replied. So we want to we all want to also define the uh, pushed out uh, message. The pushed out message that gathers the journal entry must have so this should be uh so so for must um the first thing is going to be i am grateful for prompt with three uh, that requires three uh, separate answers, okay? Um, so the next thing um, that is in this journal, and I can shake this around, but I think I'm going to start by just replicating uh, this journal. Um, and then what I can do is uh, basically just throw this journal away. It's, it's just junk anyways. Um, and uh, rely only on the texting service uh, to do the same thing. So, um, so yep. So the first thing that the pushed out message that I get on my phone must have is... Uh, uh, now, now it's, it's 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 a little bit tricky because I can either have the uh, pushed out message ask me all these things and then reply to the message itself, or I can have the pushed out message give me a link and then I click that link and I go into like a nice uh, prompt uh, to to enter them in. So that's the uh, so the service uh, take two minutes actually has both of those options. You can either directly respond to the text. Or you can click a link and go and use a prompt. So, um, so I guess I guess I would like to have um, uh, I would like to have uh, both. Uh, so so I think I'm going to change this to uh, or I'm going to add this. Uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll add it as, as another asterisk. I'll say the pushed out message that gathers the journal entry must include a link to a... Okay, something's really happening now. I, I got to go check this out. There's pounding and yelling. All right, I'm back. I guess I don't need these headphones. Um, but yeah, because the microphone has been picked up on the headphones. But uh, yeah, so I'm uh, doing all the requirements. The requirements, there's going to be a lot. Um, so uh, yep, yeah, right now I'm working on this requirement here. So the push up message that gathers the journal entry must have uh, I'm grateful for a prompt that requires two separate answers. That's because I'm just uh, mimicking this five-minute journal. It must have uh, what would make today great prompt that requires three separate answers. It must have a daily affirmation. Okay, 
So then the stored journal entry must have a, the date the entry was completed. Um, uh, it must have a, a, each of the prompts and each of the answers to the prompts. So the pushed out message that gathers the journal entry must include a link to a web form as well. To a website to that gathers the inputs. So the inputs, uh, this can be used uh, instead of replying to the text since it will likely be easier to fill out. Okay, so now there's a few more things that the current journaling systems I'm using have. Uh, in the book, The Five Minute Journal, uh, I get an inspirational quote. So for the one for today, which is the 22nd, the quote is, a fit body, a calm mind, a house full of love. These things cannot be bought. They must be earned. So I could include quotes like that. Um, I'm not sure how useful that would be. I think the most useful thing for me is uh, just writing down what I'm grateful for and like being able to remember the good things that happened through me in the weeks and then just kind of developing that use of uh, positive uh, language um, and positive thinking, just kind of getting used to doing that. Uh, so I'm not sure how important that is going to be, so I'll put that under the uh, future features to consider. So include inspirational quote. The other future feature to consider is one that uh, actually isn't in this book. It's only on the journaling site, Take Two Minutes. So uh, I'm going to try not to share my personal journal here, but uh, I will log into the site. Login code. There we go. So I've got a login code. Um, so let me take a see if I can take a look at some of the activities I did or some of my history. Ah, so here's here's the big one. Um, so this is one one thing I really liked uh, was the my happy list where you go through and you uh, you you write down things that that make you happy. So um, kind of the potential things I could be doing uh, in Austin that, that I'm not currently doing, like uh, really getting into like photography. Uh, the idea of doing that like makes me happy. So if I'm feeling really down, I can look for a photography meetup and try to go to that and kind of feel more expired. Um, I like trying to get uh, good photos. Uh, yeah, so I like, I like, yeah. So that is kind of a uh, feature that I, that, that, is, that is definitely a feature I want to uh, replicate. Uh, but it doesn't have to be a requirement. It can be something to consider in the future if I get this down. So, uh, so re 
create the my happy list feature in take two minutes. So that that is is a good feature. It's where you write down a list of everything that that could make you happy, and then if you're ever not feeling happy, you uh, text the number um, and you request an entry from the my happy list, and it'll send you a random entry back, and then um, you can say, oh, this is something that makes me happy, um, and then and then ideally you can go and uh, do it. Um, so uh, that's a good feature. Um, the other feature that they have is like a mood ranking where you can select uh, an emoji to say how you're feeling right now. So I'm not sure how useful that is. Um, so uh, that's something I'm going to consider for the future as well. I think the most important thing uh, I want out of this is the uh, gratitude journaling, having to say like what I'm grateful for and, and having more gratitude. Um, the what would make today great, kind of kind of declaring my intentions and, and putting forth in my mind at the beginning um, what I want to accomplish. And then the daily affirmation is really nice. Somebody like me who struggles a lot with uh, negative self-talk and self-thinking, um, just affirming positive language directed toward myself every day uh, is probably one of the most valuable things uh, I've been doing uh, since I started this. Uh, so uh, there's actually two more entries. Um, there's, so there's uh, uh, morning entries. And then there's uh, evening. So I'll do like a type key there. Yep. Okay, and then uh, what did I learn today? Okay, so yeah, I want uh, morning and evening prompts. Okay, so uh, yep, that's going to be a requirement. Uh, a future feature to consider will be a, a mood checker, um, selecting an emoji to record current code. And I think that's like primarily what I want out of this. Um, I think that's probably enough for the requirements. So, um, yeah, I, it's probably time to start getting into the code. I'm not sure how much I can do uh, today, and I've got, uh, I've got other things that are going to be a higher priority than this project that I'd like to work on as well. I just kind of wanted to get things out there and get started and get this readme done, uh, definitely. Um, so before I continue, I'm looking over the uh, service again uh, that uh, I used to have access to. And again, I'm trying not to <laughs> just share my personal, uh, oh, it looks like I forgot to, to do it this morning. Oh, I didn't forget to do it because they don't. I I don't have the service anymore, but or I don't have it. I don't have the the free trial anymore, so I don't get that. Uh, I don't get that back. 
but I'm just looking through it to see what uh, to see what other features I want to have as uh, a requirement, what other features I want to have as something to uh, consider in the future, and then what features I just don't care about uh, replicating. Okay, so they have other things like uh, meditation, uh, they have things that help you sleep, dream journals. Um, the, the only other thing I think I, I would possibly like to replicate is uh, the three good things uh, exercise they have, where you have to say um, every evening, uh, blank was a good thing, blank was a good thing, blank was a good thing, and you have to list three separate things that happened uh, that day that were, were good things. Um, so uh, that's going to be something to consider. The three good things activity uh, 15 days on and 15 days off. So the way the service had you do it is uh, for 15 days you say every evening at a configured time. I configured it for I think 8 p.m. Three good things that happened during the day and then after the 15 days are up they want you to take a, a break. Uh, so they don't want you to just always do that. They want you to um, to do it off and on. Um, and I, I, I'm not sure why they want you to do it off and on, but I did find, um, I found this to be like really hard. I really had to struggle to think on a lot of days what, what some really good things happened during the day were. But, um, but yeah, I found, I found this is definitely something I want to consider because uh, I think I got a lot out of uh, this activity. So these are probably more uh, ranked, but so I think I'll put this under the other one. Okay, and that's probably it for now. Um, I'm gonna do a get in it. There we go. Um, I'll do a get add. Give commit dash m initial commit. And then uh, I'll do a Python virtual environment. I'm going to need that eventually. Okay, and now that I have this uh, virtual environment, I'm also going to need a git ignore so that that's not included in all my commits and everything. And I could hide the virtual environment. Um, it might make it a little bit easier to, uh, if I do an LS, it won't show up. But uh, I don't mind uh, seeing it there, so I'm not going to hide it. Um, okay, so we do git add, git commit dash m. Uh, Python DMD created and ignored. Uh, we're also going to need uh, some requirements for this project, some actual code requirements. So let's do a uh, let's make a requirements for TXT. Okay, so I need a module that can send text messages in Python. So I'm going to find that, 
And then that might be a stopping, stopping point for me. So Python send text messages. So it looks like we've got uh, Twilo. That could do it. Yeah, so I think Twilo is the best bet for that. Uh, there's also this library here that looks like it could do it. Uh, that's a Gmail. It's not a text message. I definitely want it to be a text message and not an email because uh, because I want it to alert me differently than how emails alert me. I guess I could set up my alerts, I could configure my alerts, but that seems a little bit, that seems like trickier. Yeah, so this doesn't have the answer there. Yeah, so you gotta use Twilo. So uh, we're going to have Twilo be a requirement. There we go. Now we've got another one. Uh, we're going to call it um, gratitude.py. Assuming I spelled gratitude correctly, I think I did. There's no T's. Yeah. Okay, so here's the sample code. Let's take a look at all this sample code. So we've got the library. Oh, I'll put in uh, IPython as well because that helps. It helps things quite a bit. So I added IPython to help with development and T shooting. Um, added in the Twilo sample code. Okay, so I've got the helper library, I think. Uh, let's just follow this link. Uh, yep, so I did this pip3 install Twilo. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they mean by a helper library, but 
I'll, I'll try, I'll, I'll see if I can uh, get that uh, uh, working. So I'll do IPython and then I'll enter this in. There we go. So, yep, everything's good. All right, so now I need to find my account SID and auth token and set the environment variables. Okay, so I need to get an actual account SID and auth token. Uh, I'm not sure how to get that. Oh, it's it's another paid service. It's a trial, so it expires. Like if I pay for this, I might as well pay for just the other thing. Yeah, it's a free trial service. Shoot. Well, shoot. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, you don't need, you can just, you can just send the text. You don't need something like Flow. Yeah, I can just use um, Gmail. Yep, this is all I need. Okay, so it looks like I can just use these libraries here, and I don't have to use Twilo. So I'm gonna say, uh, and then I can remove Twilo. 
I'm gonna need these though. Okay, so then, uh, yep, I am going to need to have it receive text as well. And I, I do know how to use uh, Juniper notebooks. Uh, I'm just like not used to using them, so I'm just doing what I'm used to. I should probably use a uh, Jupyter notebook. I, I can do that. It's, there's no problem. But I just I don't know. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be all I'm going to do in this video. Uh, we're at about an hour, and I don't want to spend, uh, too much time on this today. Uh, I just want to get started and get it out there. Uh, for now, I've, I've got my five-minute journal here, which will be enough, I think. Uh, but, uh, I do want to eventually get this, uh, going. So, I'm going to do a commit. I'm going to say abandoning Twilio uh, as it is a paid service. I can do texting for free uh, as described here. Okay, so there's all my uh, commits. Uh, I'm not going to push it up to uh, repo uh, quite yet. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I guess I could. Um, or it's the, the command is git log, not git history. There we go. So here's all my commits that I did so far. And uh, uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, it for this video. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the series and hopefully I can uh, get this done uh, without it going too long. Um, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one.